This week it's one that's mainly for my EU readers today. Keep watching. Hello, welcome back. It's got ukulele. As ever, as I always say, this is just the summary video review. If you look at the link below, take you to the website where you'll get a lot more detail about this one. And look at the other stuff that's on that website. There's loads and loads of stuff there. Thank yous running across the bottom there. Uh, as I say, got a ukulele does not get paid by the brands or the stores to do these reviews because they couldn't be impartial if that was the case. They come on alone, but I also have to buy some to review. So I, that can only happen with uh, donations from people. Uh, my attorney thanks to those and if you like what you see on the YouTube channel why not think about subscribing if you hit the little bell symbol you'll get notified when stuff goes up because it's not always on the same day okay as I say this one is probably for Europeans because this is a house brand ukulele uh, from a U European store and I don't think they're really available outside of EU countries I may be wrong but I've not found one and hence why I didn't know what they were and there's a quite a, a heritage to ukulele connection heritage to the, the shop the shop is called Mercantino dell'Ukulele in Caldogno in Vicenza in northeastern Italy that shop was set up by Aquila the string brand so everybody knows who they are and this brand Mahi Mahi uh, was set up to be their house brand they're made in the Far East for them um, the house brand of that shop but they're also available in lots of other st stores across Europe and this is the Mahi Mahi MC3M it's a concert also available in soprano and tenor and it's quite um, traditionally I think rather lovely looking. Uh, ukulele aficionados will know exactly why it looks like this because this is a kind of replica of uh, a Martin Style 3M ukulele. They make those in soprano and concerts, been making them for decades and decades. Very, very expensive now. I think custom shop only. And like some other brands like Kawea and Ohana, of which this is pretty much identical. Um, they make uh, sort of sympathetic rec replicas for a lot less money. Important things, this is all solid wood. This is all solid mahogany, um, which is really nice and sort of chocolatey brown in color. Two pieces on the top, two pieces on the back, single piece sides. Very nice um, sort of dark wood, I think. And then we, it comes on to the decoration. That's what the 3M is all about. But let's just get through the, the usuals first. The bridge is made of rosewood fitted with straight top bone saddle as you can see that's a tie bar um i think that's wrong i think martin on their concert 3ms would put a slot style bridge on there and i think it would look better to have a slot style there we are is that a gripe minor gripe but it's all about the decoration isn't it we've got cream binding to the top and the back around the back the usual uh, black and white purfling strip but on the front the purfling strip goes into overdrive but that's what it was like on the Martins so you've got loads of layers there and you also get loads of layers around this sound hole edge that is what the Martins looked like M one gripe I've got is that this is cream but these these inlays are very much white and I think that would look much nicer and less stark against this dark top if they were cream too you see this is cream these are cream. This, incidentally, is called a paren or a pentaloke. And these were uh, on the Martins are shaped to mirror the moustache end shape here. This doesn't mirror it. It's different. And I don't know why it's different. I think if you're going to do it, why not do it properly and have that shape on it? Kawhair do that. Uh, Ohana don't as well. So that's a bit odd. But otherwise, you know, it, it's not meant to be a complete replica, but it's very close, I suppose. It's, 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 it's a replica in uh, spirit, let's say. Finished with an open pour satin, which is done really nicely everywhere. Nice and even, no pooling, no drips, no bare patches. But I suppose if I have a gripe, is a bit like Ohana and Carla instruments that come off the factory production line. It's almost a bit too perfect, which is a really odd gripe to have. Almost a bit too perfect. Um, <laughs> there we are. Anyway, inside very tidy too. Thin braces, notched kerfing linings, and I can't find any mess. The neck is not specified, but I think it's probably mahogany. It's actually in three pieces, but you can't really see the joints. I like this sort of extended uh, heel here, and I also like the difference in the sort of vintage rubbed colour. I don't know if that's intentional. It changes in colour as you got the neck. Um, 
It's um, a very average 35mm 28 G2A at the nut, which is not normally for me, but then it's not super broom handle either. It's not flat, it's not like a Kuwait, but it's not, it's not the really big round one, so I could get away with it. The fingerboard, they say, is made from rosewood. I'm not sure it is. I think it's oven coal or something like that. It's too pale. It's not that it's out of condition. It's in good condition, but it's just very pale wood. Um, and I think that's a shame because I don't think the other 3M styling details on here stand out enough. Uh, they get a bit lost, so I'd like that to be different. That styling is, incidentally, is you've got this purfling strip running all the way down. And dot position markers rather than diamonds or snowflakes. I've got no problem with that. Don't know why there's one at the third, though. Third, fifth, seventh, tenth, twelfth. Sadly, nothing on the side. That's a real omission. Why wouldn't you do that? The Martins had them. That's so easy to do. Uh, okay, beyond the bone nut, and the setup on this actually is really good. Uh, what else? It had to be a Martin crown shaped headstock, didn't it? But no detail, no inlay, no brand logo, nothing really. And I think it looks bare for that. I think it needs something up here. And maybe they didn't put the logo on the front because that is the Mahi Mahi logo, which I don't really like. It's a dolphin. There's a funny story on the on their website where they say that um, the, the term Mahi Mahi is actually a dolphin fish, not a dolphin. But they got the translation wrong and thought it was dolphins. They've got their logo made to look like dolphins. At least they admit it. It made me laugh. The tuners are not specified on their site, but I am certain they are standard Goto uh, friction pegs. They're a bit jerky to use these, to be honest, and I probably would upgrade them. But, uh, you know, I'm just glad that they didn't put geared pegs on it because it looks far better without them. Uh, comes with nothing else. Aquila strings, what else? It's from the Aquila company. Uh, had to be. And uh, the price comes in on their website just a little bit over 300 euros. But if you shop around European shops, I'm seeing it for about 280 uh, it's unwise to do a straight currency comparison, but that's about with tax what the Ohana CK39, of which this looks very similar, would cost you. So it seems like it's on the right sort of level of money for the competition. As I say, I've got little gripes in the finishing, that, that fingerboard. Um, not many gripes though, really, because I think the build is really, really good. The finish is excellent, um, uh, the satin, um, and it, it, it feels really reliable. That top is really thin as well so it's going to it feels light one of the lightest concerts I've, i think i've ever picked up 420 grams that's not a lot of uke at all uh, and it balances really really nicely too um tuning up it's going to be a bit juddery i suspect this checking because of these friction pegs but they might still be in tune i've been playing it this morning no oh. Okay, first up. It's really nice to hold actually, I like the feel of it. Volume. Great. Really loud instrument. And that sustain is really good too. I can feel it here and I can feel it up here. It's a very resonant little instrument. What I said about the Ohana SK39 3M replica was the, I thought the Aquila strings made it sound a bit tubby. Um, this is a bigger body though. Um, I don't think it makes it sound tubby. I think it sounds crisp. It's not overly bright, it's not overly dark, it's right down the middle. Uh, all of those notes are really clear, they harmonise together. I think it really does suit that sort of rag, that jazz rag time. I'm not getting ahead of myself, it's not AAA tone, it's not a Hawaiian instrument tone, but it's, it's 300 euros, it's not 3,000 euros. Um, I rather like that. Finger picked? Right, right up. 
up the fretboard. a lot about that it's a really nice sound the volume projection is really really good all really 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 clear and crisp and um there's a lot to like about it really okay some of this decoration may not be for everybody it's certainly of a style but um i think a lot of people will like the decoration for that reason certainly not a plain instrument the mahi mahi mc 3m all solid mahogany concert about 300 euros, maybe a bit less. Uh, gets my recommendation. I think it's a decent instrument. I've enjoyed looking at this one. Thanks to Luca at the store for sending this one over for me to look at. I wouldn't have known about it otherwise. I really rather like that one. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. I'm back next week. Don't know what is coming next week, but I am back. I know I said last week I was going on holiday. I got the dates wrong. I don't know where I'm coming or going, to be honest. No, I'm here next week. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be. So in the meantime, I hope you all stay safe. Look after each other. And uh, thanks for watching. See you very soon. Bye-bye.